too much fire and the air needs more room to move. Too much air and it turns into wind and blows the heat away. But the right correlation of these two elements turns into mist. So y'all ready? Let's go. I'm looking for the heart in you. Sometimes I don't know what to do. Baby, look in when you ain't looking. Okay. Okay. So if you okay. want this, you looking. better try hard. Okay, Gemini, dealing with your Aries. If this Aries individual does not want to plug you into their networks and the people that they are friendly with or have you know strengthened bonds with get out of there it's a red flag all right it's a red flag you know what i mean because that means that they want to smother you or not even smother you they want to keep you all to themselves and they're not trying to put you on the outskirts and put you into the things that they're into they just want to keep it singular as them they're an individual they can have all of these contacts and connections however you can't like that's a red flag you don't want to deal with an aries that's moving with you like that you know what i'm saying and the reason being is this this aries in your life has the ability to connect you and plug you into people and places and things networks foundations all kinds of stuff that can bring you money flat out that can bring you money that can bring you um even prestige in the state of or in the sense of you know endeavors that promote health that promote humanity i'm gonna just say that promote humanity right because health is a sketchy word especially these days but in endeavors that promote humanity and put you on a on a level that ex that is very expansive that 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 spreads out all right and the word can travel fast so this can catapult you into things that you've always dreamed about or that you always spoke to other individuals about you understand what I'm saying? This Aries should be your friend. You know what I mean? And I know they may be hot and you may be attracted to them and you maybe want to be more than a friend. You understand what I'm saying? However, I'll tell you this. In some of the similar videos that I've spoken about when it deals with the elements for you and the Aries, it is better to be their friends first. You may get involved with this Aries to the point where you think that it's more than what it really is. When in all actuality, the universe is going to suggest that your bond and your friendship be proven right so you may be on one accord and the aries is going to be doing their thing and you take it more serious now if they're presenting some again the red flag is if they're presenting something that doesn't include their networks and stuff like that it's just a red flag because it's not going to benefit you optimally it's going to, it might be very rushed it might be a fast fling thing and if that's what it is then please recognize that that's what it is do not try to stretch this and make this and turn this into something else that it's not you know don't let your mind play tricks on you gemini is pretty much what i'm saying all right don't be the con artist that says all right, I want to get in this person's pants and then it becomes real to you. And now all of a sudden you don't know how to combat that or resurface and land on your feet and say, OK, I can still be around other people and stuff like that. while this Aries is doing their networking thing and, you know, trying to plug me into certain situations that could better my better my life. You know what I mean? Now, when it comes to sex, right, you don't have to be, uh, should I say? slow moving about the sex when it comes to you and Aries. You know what I'm saying? If y'all feel like y'all can hit it off like that and everything, y'all can do that. And I think y'all can get away with that when it comes to, you know, with friends fucking and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, you, you can do that. You can patch it right back up, blah, say, blah, say, blah, say, blah. You know what I mean? But still, the friendship is going to be important to the whole equation. And it's going to help steady things out. You know what I'm saying? Now, if this Aries individual initiates the sparking of that type of thing with you, that's also fine. You know what I'm saying? And it's probably better if they come to you on that type of thing, on that type of timing. You understand what I'm saying? Now, um, again, though, if they if you peep, if you pinpoint that it's going to get in the way of being around other people, especially other people that are in the form of groups and stuff like that. Um, then this is a red flag. You, again, I, I must stress this. It's just a red flag for you to you, you got to get out of the situation. You got to get out of it. If, if it's going to be one of these things, well, you know, you can't be around here. You can't wear that over here and to this function. And to, no, 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 no. That's just get out of there. It's toxic. It's toxic. It's toxic. It's not right. For, that's not the right Aries for you. It's pretty much what I'm saying. But overall, in general, this can be upbeat, fast paced. And you like that. You can use your agile, quick mind to keep up with the agile activity of the Aries and it's just like and they can take the lead it's fine you can let them take the lead you can bounce around whatever it is that they're doing you don't have to be attached to them and still be with them 
And that can be the cool thing about this. And I would say this, right? Should things change? Things shouldn't change between you two, right? Things can change with you. You can bounce around and hop around and all that, but things shouldn't change between you two. You understand what I'm saying? So the, the Aries person could be very streamlined and, you know, straightforward with you and everything. And you can be bouncing around doing what Gemini's do. That should be a process that should be able to be repeated and replicated. And it shouldn't turn into an issue. If it does turn into an issue, then it means that things are changing between you two and you need a reassessment to understand exactly what it is. You might want to look into the stars and do some type of solar return stuff to find out what that is. All right. I'm out.